Set theory is the foundation on which virtually all mathematics is constructed. So what is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of objects known as elements. Here well-defined means that it's possible to tell whether something belongs in a set or not. If this blue circle represents a set, these dots inside represent the objects or elements. Hence, this is the set of blue dots and this is the set of red dots. This is the set of green dots. Remember, a set is a well-defined collection of objects. Hence, we could have a set of plastic chairs, or a set of vegetables, or a set of penguins. Even the stars within our galaxy can be considered a set of stars that make up our galaxy. It's no secret that when you think about maths, you think about numbers. But how do sets apply to numbers? First, let's discuss the types of numbers in this chapter. The set of numbers in the red circle are known as natural numbers. These are your counting numbers such as 1, 2 and 3. They are also your ordering numbers such as 1st place, 2nd place, 3rd place. Then we have integers, which are all the numbers in the red natural number set, but also the negative whole numbers and 0 represented in the green circle. The pink circle represents rational numbers. These are the fractions that you can write using the integers. The only exception is the bottom part of the fraction, known as the denominator, cannot be zero. Finally, the blue circle represents the real numbers. These numbers are rational and irrational. They are the umbrella for all the other numbers in this image. Examples of irrational numbers are given in the blue circle. Let's discuss how to describe sets using numbers. We could create a set using a circle with elements 1, 2, 3 inside. However, a quicker and more efficient way of representing a set is by drawing brackets. And within those brackets, we put elements with commas between them. In a set, the order in which objects or elements are placed do not matter. So within the brackets, the order of the objects or elements placed also will not matter. Suppose we have a set of numbers where the elements are repeated more than once. This means any repeated elements or objects can be written as a single element or object, this as described below. Alright, this is the end of the video. I hope it helped and I've left a review of the most important parts here. Don't forget to subscribe and any questions and inquiries or even tips, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Let's improve this channel and spread knowledge together.